Pick the poorest, sandiest soils, the creek banks and fence rows where brush hogging tractors can't reach. So these are all sand plums around here. Yes, sir. That's where Sean Dickinson looks for sand plums. You have to dig your way through some of the thickets. They have some nice thorns on there, so it's a good workout. Um, I like foraging, so it's right up my alley. Awesome. He didn't know much about sand plums at the time, so he made a call to the Oklahoma Ag Department. And told me that I had quite a bit of fruit and I probably should start selling it. We got a couple hundred pounds out of this side already. A long time before settlement, Native American tribes picked them for eating and medicine. During Dust Bowl years, this was the only fruit anybody could find on the prairie. It got people through hard times, but Dickinson says there was a cost. A lot of people got sick of eating them during that time, and so when the Dust Bowl was over, nobody wanted any more sand plums. So they often grow and produce quietly these days. Sean looks for patches like these in Oklahoma and Texas, picking hundreds of pounds himself and with a crew as well. I guess you've gotten pretty good at spotting it. Oh, yeah. I can probably see it from a mile away, I think. Rain brings fruit, summer heat ripens it. His best year, he picked 3,000 pounds of sand plums. This year, we have about 4,000 pre ordered, so uh, I'm hoping this will be our best year. They still grow wild food for deer, birds, insects, hogs, and smart people who know where to find them. Diamonds in the rough, rubies in the brush, and worth hunting even on the hot days. It's a good deal, a very good deal. Near Luther, Galen Culver, News 4. Is this a great state or what? I want to order from him. On my run yesterday, I saw people along Mitch uh, in Mitch Park, the trail, picking those. Bobby I was wondering Bobby. what they were doing, and now I know. Yeah.